This video helps beginners to set up Dwarf Fortress. Peridex's Errands Starter Pack is an easily configurable bundle of Dwarf Fortress and the most popular third-party utilities. It makes setting up Dwarf Fortress very easy and accessible for beginners. The Starter Pack is hosted on the Dwarf Fortress file depot. It is linked in its home thread in the general discussion forum, as well as in the description of this video. When you have downloaded and unzipped the starter pack, you can run it. The most frequently changed options are presented in a graphical user interface. They are grouped in five tabs. Each setting is explained in a nearby text or in a tooltip which appears when you hover the mouse cursor over the setting. Unless otherwise stated, this tutorial will use the following settings. As for the basic options, we make no changes. In Graphics options, we select the game's default ASCII graphics and install it by clicking the Install Graphics button. Since we have no save games yet, we can skip the otherwise necessary step of updating the save games. We want to display the liquid depths as numbers and not use any true type fonts. In the Customize sub-tab, in the Font list, we choose the Curses 1920x900 tileset and install it by pressing the Install Tilesets button. This is an upscaled version of the default tileset suitable for high-definition screens. Similarly, in the Color Schemes list, we select and load the Nagidal color scheme. In the game, this color scheme slightly modifies the default shades of grey for a better distinction between list items which are either inactive, active or highlighted. Compare the default grey tones on the left with Nagidal's grey tones on the right. In the Advanced tab, we change the window resolution to 80 by 29. Using the Curses 1920 tileset, such window will almost completely fill a full HD screen. Let our save game related options be set to Seasonal Autosave, Pause on Save and Backup Saves. In the Sound and Startup sections, you have the option to disable the game's intro and the background music, but we will keep it on for now. Lastly, in the DF Hack tab, we disable the multi-level view hack by clicking on it. If you are playing on a laptop without a full-sized keyboard or without an external keyboard, you might find it easier to load the Laptop No Numpad key binding in the Options tab. That's it. We are now ready to play Dwarf Fortress. Strike the Earth.